Hey Leute und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von The Conceal. Ich bin immer noch ratlos. Ich muss mich erstmal in dieses Spiel hineinfinden. Auf jeden Fall, wir sind auf einer Insel. Auf jeden Fall. Und suchen unsere Mutter, weil sie hier verschwunden ist. Gute Frage. Ähm ich bin leicht verwirrt, muss ich sagen. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada Derice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Konfrontation. Während einer Konfrontation... Es geht los. Konfrontation musst du durch mehrere Phasen gehen und dabei zu so überzeugend wie möglich bleiben. Konfrontationen wirken sich auf den Verlauf der Geschichte aus. Ach du große Neune. Daher solltest du bei Bedarf auch deine Fertigkeiten einsetzen. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Habe ich den Fehler gemacht? Drei Fehler noch möglich. Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Wenn ich Berufsgeheimnis sage, das kann vielleicht sein, dass er dann misstrauisch wird. Mitglied des Goldenen Ordens? Ich würde gerne Kunstlammern machen. Leute, ich bin gerade leicht. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, 
You can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is Fadam. not one of your specialities, my son. You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit. <laughs> All the same, <laughs> it bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen, oh. to my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother would read it? Konfrontations Konfrontation, letzte Phase. In der letzten Phase einer Konfrontation musst du die Person, mit der du redest, überzeugen, indem du die passende Dialogoption auswählst. Wenn du dich falsch entscheidest, wird die Phase so lange wiederholt, bis du die richtige Option wählst oder keine Fehler mehr möglich sind. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Ricci. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Natürlich werden wir den lesen. Verborgene Elemente, viele Hinweise und Gegenstände sind nicht sofort ersichtlich. Manche von ihnen wirken sich auf deine, dein Abenteuer aus. Deswegen solltest du stets die Augen offen halten. Mein Auge ist auf. Ähm. Geh zurück zur Gruppe beim Kamin. Ich war noch nie beim Kamin. Aber gewiss, das werden wir doch tun. Was haben wir denn hier? Etwas leichte Lektüre. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Hi, <lacht> Cloud. Manuskripte. Die Manuskripte kannst du dich wie äh, kannst du dich während deines Abenteuers verweiter bitten. Was? Mit ach, ach, Leute, sorry, es ist spät. Mit Manuskripten kannst du dich während deines Abenteuers weiterbilden. Zu Beginn jedes Kapitel, Kapitel legst du fest, welches Manuskript du lesen willst. Du hältst dafür permanente Fertigkeitspunkte. Du kannst mal nicht. Äh, ja, das wird hart. Oh Gott, das wird hart. Lass mich mal kurz gucken. Erfahrung mit Personen anhand ihrer äußeren Erscheinung analysieren. Wie kann ich die denn festlegen? Aber okay, ähm. 
Hier kann ich bis jetzt noch nichts machen. Talente. Hab ich keine Ahnung. Ich drücke einfach mal. Hab ich keine Ahnung. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richer. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Is there... Is there... Oh, Seriously, no. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord! Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend! Holy shit! That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. 
One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Wir müssen... Oh. Äh, wie will man meine Mutter herausfinden? Aber ja... Ich hoffe, wir kommen nochmal zum Washington. Oder ist es besser, wenn wir bei, bei Washington bleiben? Ja, das ist eine Frage, die ich gerade überlege, was ich... Ja, ich kann heute nicht mehr reden und denken auch nicht. Ähm, ich gehe mal mit Holmes mit. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holmes. I shall see you later. Friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Oha. Wir dürfen ja nicht sagen, dass die, äh, dass die Mutter verschwunden ist. Dann haben wir ja eine Arschkarte mit den, ähm, mit der Eminenz. You seem to know my mother well. Is that true? <laughs> Who does not know of her, sir? She has such a wide circle that everyone knows your mother from a distance or closer. Everyone knows Sarah, my son. But you only know her by her reputation. I remember she once worked for the Crown of England, and that she always honors her engagements. However, we have never been personally introduced, sadly. Well, if I'm to believe my vision, you're not going to get along with her. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Also die untere Frage dürfen wir nicht nehmen. Ich würde eine der oberen Fragen machen. War, wer, noch mal, wer war nochmal Hits? Hillsborough. Sir... Do you know Emily Hillsborough? Oh, Madame la Duchesse. Of course. Ach, it was I who invited her to the island. Do you know of any link between her and my mother? Not really, no. They may well have met at the court of King George, but I can't be sure about that. 
no dispute between them then? Not to my knowledge, no. And even if Duchess Hillsborough is a complex woman to understand, I honestly can't imagine her in a conflict with the famous Sara de Ricci. <laughs> no! Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Miss, can can you hear me? Leave me. Her breathing is becoming stable and... Her heart rate, too. Pale complexion, thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple, tattoos on her hands. I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Can you tell me something about her? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment? That's right. The seer can do wonders. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. She's just regained consciousness and she immediately reaches for her brooch. I don't know exactly what it means to her, but obviously it's got to be something important. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? Isegni della bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Oh, it's naughty to tell lies. I bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the decoration of the manor. But, to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir so, Hall, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. 
On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Das ist unheimlich. Der junge Mann ist unheimlich. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Okay, wir dürfen uns das Zimmer suchen. Auf jeden Fall in die Richtung. Aber ihr Lieben, ich würde sagen, ich werde hier eine kleine Pause machen. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zusehen und bis dann. Ciao, ciao.